Hello, welcome again to His Word Lives Ministry. I'm David Guthrie, a preacher, and I want to read some scripture to you today about what God says, how to be when you're in need, and how to be when you're receiving plenty. You know, God teaches us that I can do all things in Christ, either way. Let's read Philippians 4, verses 10 through 20. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care for me has flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned, in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthen me. Notwithstanding, ye have well done, that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippians, know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica, ye sent once and again unto my necessity. Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of Aphrodite the things which were sent from you, an odor of sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Listen, whether you're doing well and have plenty, or whether you're in need, seek out Christ in your life. Trust in him and be content in where you are and move forward, magnifying Christ in the things that he stands for, the things that he teaches, the things that he blesses us with. Know God, know his son, Jesus Christ and magnify the works and the good deeds and things that God provides for us. I'd like to pray for Dawn Brooks today as she has prayer for Josh and Jordan, uh, ranchers out in this winter weather. And I'd like to pray for my Aunt Linda that's in Dallas and experiencing winter uh, storms. <clears throat> I'd like to pray for Linda Nixon that's uh, in pain and want to pray for healing and pain relief for Linda. And I want to pray for the homeless out in the cold weather. And we want to pray for uh, Mary Ruth Hare's sister that's in recovery from a surgery. And we want to pray for Donna Guthrie who's uh, asked prayer for her, her family for prevention of sickness and and for healing in her family. We want to pray for Julie Farmer as she asks prayer for a friend that needs to be lifted up. We want to pray for Kim Edencott as she prays for Mark Trotter who's in pain and, and needs relief and uh, has tumors and health issues. We want to, we want to pray for Mark. <clears throat> you lift up your prayer request. What's on your heart today? What is God laying upon your mind as you watch this prayer time video and think about the things of God, the spiritual things, and how he could bless you and benefit you? If you're lost and undone or you you're, uh, have never been forgiven for your sins, pray to Jesus that he would forgive you for your sins. Ask Jesus to forgive you. Tell him that you believe that he is the Son of God and he'll save you and forgive you. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. 
Dear God, we come to you in prayer. God, if there be one watching this video, God, I pray, Lord, that they'd pray this prayer. Jesus, we believe that you are the Son of God. We confess and believe and open up our heart and ask you to come in it. Jesus, we ask you to forgive us for our sins. If you prayed that prayer, just reach out and believe spiritually and open your mind and your heart up to God. Father, we pray for all these other prayer requests. We lift them up to you. The ones that stand in need from the cold weather, the ones that have health issues, we just ask you to help no matter what it might be. The prayers that are going up from the viewers, we ask you to be with them and answer their prayer, God. And have your will in your way. And we praise you and thank you for being able to communicate with you through our salvation and our belief and faith and knowing that we are sons of God. We thank you as his little children. God, we thank you so much for all you've done for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.